Hey guys, this is Shaz and welcome back to the Ministry of Reviews. Today, I will test the latest CarPlay wireless adapter from the Autocast company. Now, this model is called U2 Air and it works with iPhones only. So let's start off by doing the unboxing to check out the contents of this box. All right, guys, uh, so we don't really have much in the box uh, because it's just a, a simple wireless CarPlay adapter. So we've got the adapter here. Uh, we have the user manual and then we have two uh, USB cables to connect the device with the car. Uh, this one is the USB type C to type C. And then we've got a type A to type C. And this is what I need for my car. Uh, so that's it, guys. Um, as I said, the device is uh, this is a new model from Autocast. Uh, it looks really nice. Uh, very new kind of a design. Uh, you have the type C connection here um, and that's it. So it's a very nice, compact, lightweight, uh, good design, small. This is around, I'd say five centimeter by five centimeter. So it's, uh, it's quite nice. You can, you know, plug it in the car and then stick it on the dashboard or somewhere to just hide it. That's it guys, uh, I will take this out in my car to test all the different features of this device. So guys, I have the device uh, with me now. I'll connect it uh, with the USB port in my car. So I have connected the device with my car and as soon as I did that within like around five seconds I get this message basically what I need to do is open the Bluetooth on my mobile and I would be able to see a new device called Auto 871C which is the same as appearing on the screen so what I need to do is click on this Then click on pair, allow the device to sync the contacts and favorites. And then I'll get one more message asking me whether I need to use CarPlay or not. There you go. So I click on use CarPlay and that's it. I can see the device is now connected. And in a matter of few seconds, I should be able to see the Apple CarPlay home screen. There you go. So that was very simple setup. It's actually just a plug and play, connect the device with your mobile's Bluetooth and in a few seconds you will be able to see the Apple CarPlay homepage appearing on your screen. Now let me tell you a little bit about the Apple CarPlay homepage. Uh, so you can see that there are about eight apps appearing on this screen. You can move it to right and you'll be able to see more apps. Basically, these are all the apps that you are you have installed in on your mobile. Um, on the left here, you can see the time, the signal uh, of the network, the battery on your mobile, then the last three apps that you used. And then bottom left, this option takes you to a split screen view, which is this. So you can see the map, the song that is playing, any destinations, or in fact, you can also have the calendar appearing here. So let's go back to the home page. Now, if you want to go back to the original home page of the car system, you click on this sign that is Toyota. Uh, if you have a different brand of the car, the logo of that brand would appear here. So click on this, takes you back here, then click on Apple CarPlay and takes you back to the CarPlay home page. Now, what we will do is uh, we will test a few of the important functions of this device. Uh, we will first test uh, Siri uh, then we will check if the buttons on the steering wheel are also working then we will play a song we will make a phone call we will uh, go to a certain destination using the map and then at the end we will also do a speed test of the device so the first thing I would like to do is actually test whether Siri is working hey Siri play something on Spotify 
Now playing today's top hits on Spotify. There you go. So Siri is working perfectly fine. The controls on the steering wheel also working perfectly fine on this device. Hey Siri, call my Samsung mobile. Calling my Samsung mobile. Work. All right, there you go. Hey Siri. Take me to Dubai Burj Khalifa. Getting directions to Burj Khalifa. Go. There you go. So the navigation app is also working. So the last thing I want to do now is run a speed test. Basically I want to see how long does the device take to start when we plug it in. So I've got the stopwatch ready on my mobile. I will unplug the device and then I will plug it back in and start the stopwatch. So I think the fastest uh, device so far I've tested is around 24-25 seconds. Uh, so let's see if this device beats uh, that record. Wow, extremely fast I must say, around 17 seconds. Uh, this is definitely the new record. I have not seen any device which is faster than this one. So full marks for the speed. I have compared this new AutoCast U2 Air adapter with some of the other adapters that I had tested in the past. There are two things that I love about this device. First one is the size and design. It's a very nice and compact adapter. The other thing is the speed. This adapter is by far the fastest compared to the others that I had tested. The price on the other hand is slightly on the higher side. I would have loved it to be under $100. If you like this device and you're interested to buy it, just go to the link that I have provided in the description of this video. It, that will take you directly to the website where you can purchase this device. That's it guys. If you have any questions about this device or any other device, just drop me a WhatsApp message. Uh, I've provided a direct WhatsApp message link in the description of this video. Finally. Please do subscribe to the channel, like this video and share it with your friends. Thanks.